okay, so today I'm gonna be doing a really fun video. I'm gonna be talking, um, kind of showing you how we decorate our house during Christmas and Advent. Um, it is the Advent season and I know some people get really upset when people put up Christmas trees and Christmas lights and all of that before Christmas because technically we are in Advent. Um, so if you are like that, you might not want to watch this video. This is, I do decorate for Christmas, before Christmas. I kind of look at it as I do prepare when I set up for Christmas. It does really truly prepare me for Christmas. It's kind of like when I put, you know, my baby nursery together before the actual baby is here or going to a baby shower. Like, I'm preparing for that. It's kind of the same thing for me and my family. Now, if you are one of those people who does really want to stick to the liturgical, you know, calendar in your home, my sister has a really cool idea that she does in her family and she has an advent tree. So she still has a tree up, but she uses Jesse tree ornaments and then she puts uh, pink and purple lights on her tree to decorate because that is like the, the wreath, the candle wreath and stuff. Um, so I thought that was cool too. So if you are, you know, you wanna stay liturgical and kind of get your kids into that, that is kind of a cool idea to use the Jessie tree so slowly you're adding an ornament till Christmas. So on Christmas then she'll add different lights and she will add all of their Christmas ornaments. So I think that's kind of a cool idea too. If you do want to stay like liturgical, um, I don't think it's a salvation issue. If you do get your house, you know, all decorated and stuff, I don't think it's a salvation issue obviously or I would not be decorating my house. But it does, like I said, mentally prepare me for the coming of Jesus. It really does. And so I just enjoy it so much. I love decorating. So the way that we kind of budget for decorating, because that is something that every year I kind of add little pieces here and there. So we've been together almost 10 years. So I have been slowly adding things every year. And so what I will do actually is at the end of Christmas, so after Christmas is over, I'll go to stores like Marshall's or Target and I will buy things and it's like 50% off. So, um, and I like it that way too because then I already know what I have and like pieces that might be good for, you know, our living space and all of that. So that's just an idea if you're looking into like budgeting for Christmas because I do add a little bit every year. So with that, if you're gonna ask for links, cause people always ask for links, there a lot of the stuff I don't have links to, like they were, um, you know, a while ago. But if there are links, I'll put them down below if you're interested. Uh, but and some things were made, like these stockings. They actually, my mom made them. I saw them on Etsy, and asked her to make them for Christmas for me one year, me and the kids. And I'll give you a closer look, but. So she made these and they're gorgeous. They're so pretty, they're burlap and stuff. So some things were made by my mom and uh, I don't know, I love this time of year though. It brings me so much joy. Um, the Christmas tree uh, kind of has a story, it's kind of funny. I uh, My husband was gone in China one Christmas and I was so sad. I had three kids by myself in a place I've never lived before. I didn't have family. Just kind of throwing a pity party. And so I bought this tree on Amazon. And it's like, cause we have, I'll show you, it's in our playroom, but like a Charlie Brown tree is what we call it. And so I just was like, I just want a real tree. And so that's what I bought myself for Christmas one year. With, like I went all out and I bought this tree and it's so full and beautiful. People comment all the time, but I know some people are gonna ask if the trees are real and they are not. Uh, this one looks pretty real, but I don't do real trees because we move so much and it's just easier and kind of simplifies. But maybe when we settle down someday, I will get real trees. I grew up with real trees and it was like a big deal in my family. Um, and I do miss the smell and all of that. I do not miss cleaning up all of the, <laughs> all of the pine needles though. I will say that is kind of the nice thing. But, um, but anyway, so this is kind of going to be my tour of my house. I hope you enjoy and yeah, give this a thumbs up if you like this type of video. And so let's take a tour.
So here's our entryway and all of that green holly is from Hobby Lobby along with I believe that picture and I bought this nativity set from a Catholic bookstore that I used to work at and it's Fontanini, it's beautiful, it's from Italy and my dad made the little stable for it. And it's like something that you can keep adding pieces to, but I just haven't had the budget for it. All of the pillows that you see in my living room is pretty much from Marshalls. A lot of my stuff is from Marshalls or Hobby Lobby. My mom made these stockings for our family. She's still in the works of making Bella's. And this tree is so fun. I love having this Christmas tree. All of the ornaments, the nice ones are on top so that Bella cannot get them. So I'm not doing a video on a gift guide this year, but if you are looking for a gift for little kids, these ones are really cute. That uh, train is all Legos and it has its own motor. It's really sweet and we got it for Zachary for his birthday. And then of course the little nativity, little people. And these are just all of our Christmas books. We have a lot of different variety of Christmas books. And yeah, the kids love them. So every day we'll read just a couple at a time at lunchtime and throughout the day. Okay, so I'm sure that you've seen these before. These are the willow tree, the nativity for the willow tree. And this is one of the best wedding gifts that we ever got. Um, somebody gave us this entire set of the willow tree and I absolutely love it because every time I open it at Christmas, I think of that couple who gave us this nativity set and it is just so special to my husband and I. I absolutely love it and it is just so beautiful. So this is our random table in our dining room and the kids just love this little train set that goes around and you can't hear the music right now but it plays music and Mother Mary when she's pregnant. I love this statue so much. And yeah, this St. Nicholas picture is gorgeous as well. So I absolutely love it. It's my random table. And then just have yourself a Merry Christmas little countdown thing for when Christmas comes. The kids move it every day and it helps them to count down. So that is pretty much the tour of my home. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will talk to you all later. God bless. Bye.